Listen, blessed be the name of the Lord. Listen, thank you all for taking time to worship with us tonight. This is Resurrection Sunday, and we're so excited for you to take part with us. Listen, God has been so good. So when you come on, please like, share, comment, let me know that you're here. I'm expecting God to do something great tonight, and I want you to be a part of it. So come on in and worship with me, and let's celebrate that magnificent name of the Lord. He is so good, y'all. Amen. Listen, blessings to you all once again. Thank you for tuning in here with me tonight on worship, uh, online worship, and tonight with our resurrection service. Listen, God is so great, and in spite of everything that we've been through, in spite of everything that's going on all over the world right now, we find it not robbery to lift up and magnify the name of the Lord because he is so great. And he is so kind. And every time we turn around, God keeps on making a way out of no way. And for that, we have to worship him. We have to give him the honor, the glory, and the praises. I don't want to keep you on here too long tonight because I know it's Easter, which we call Resurrection Sunday. And I want you all to be able to spend time with your family. A lot of you all have already attended services online. But please make sure you stop by and, and, and check us here out and um, share it. And let your family and friends know that, hey, there are folks still praising the Lord in the midst of COVID-19. Because he still lives and that's why we give God all the glory all the honor and the praises listen tonight I quickly want to jump in the text with you all here if you have your your Bibles with you your apps whatever it is that you have with you I want you to tune in with me to second Peter uh, chapter 1 and we're going to read starting with verse number three and this is the NIV version the new international version and I want you to share it says his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who has called us by his own glory and who have called us by his own goodness. So I want to read that one more time for those who may have missed it. Uh, Second Peter 1 and 3, it says his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and by his own goodness. What I want you to know um, and I, what I would have chosen as a subject tonight would simply be power. You know, when you have power, when he's given you power. So tonight I want to speak to all of you because God have given you power and he's given you the ability to do things that you should be doing. Some of us are lacking the things we should be doing because of certain situations and certain circumstances that we are in. But I want to encourage you tonight to let you know that you have power. And here in this particular book, Peter, he wants us to know that even though he was in an intense persecution while he was waiting to be executed. He wanted us to know that you have power, power, the ability to do things given by God with his authority. And Peter, he teaches us that the grace of God in Christ truly transforms and it empowers our life as a Christian. In order to have power, you have to have the ability to, to serve the Lord. And if you don't serve the Lord, you lack the power and the ability that you need to, to move forward in this Christian life, on this Christian journey, because in life we all face opposition and opposition is so troubling especially in the time that we're that we're dealing in right now and tonight by God's grace I just simply wanted to encourage you tonight and and give you a few key points to let you know that you can do all things through power you can do all things through Christ you can do all things through love you can do all things through unity because you have power and since God has given you power you ought to be able to share it boldly and to let the enemy know that you shall not be defeated to let the enemy know that you are on the winning team and because you have power you have power to heal those that are sick you have power to turn your marriage around you have power so that your children can stay on the right path you have power to speak those things that are not as though they are because God have 
giving you power. I just want to encourage you. And I want you to know that here we have Second Peter. And Peter is telling us that in the midst of persecution, in the midst of threats, in the midst of strong disagreements, that there is no excuse for not living a godly life. Because in order to live a godly life, you have to first accept and believe and confess with your mouth that he is king of king and he is Lord of Lord. Power is released to believers through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and who have called us by his own goodness. It's right there in verse number three. It tells us according to our, our knowledge of him who have called us by his own glory and by his own goodness. Uh, meaning brother and sister that you have the ability to have the power. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what it seemed like. God says the power has already been given to you. In the Bible it tells you there are some things that God has already given to you that no man can take away from you unless you allow the individual to take and steal your joy. You may be weeping, but joy have got to come. You may be in the midst of a bad storm. You may be dealing with sorrow, but God says happiness is already yours. Those things that you don't even have to worry about. So even in the midst of COVID-19, you have power to remain healed because God gives us the common sense that we must obey the law of the land while we obey him. Him. So if the law is telling us that we must stay still at this moment, we have to listen to what the law is telling us. But while God has placed us in our most sacred place, some of us are shut up in our homes. God says you have power to pray right in your home. You have power to lift up your voices and lift songs up to him. You have power to shout. You have power to give him glory. You have power to give him honor. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what it seemed like. God have given you the power to do it all. I just wanted to encourage somebody tonight to let you know power when it seems a little rough in your life. You got power when it seems a little ugly right now. God has given you power to run this Christian race. Can I get a witness, somebody? You may be tuned in right now, but what I want you to do is just type the word power and watch God fall over your life. Holy Ghost power to turn things around in your home. Power! Power to heal your own body. Oh, power. Is there anybody here that's glad you got power? Power. While I'm talking about power, it reminds me of Jesus dealing with his resurrection. He stayed there. Oh, he stayed there. But the Bible says that three days he got up because he had power. Power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power to see right. Power to believe right. Power knowing that God was going to make a way out of no way. He had power because he loved me. He had power because he loved you. Is there anybody in here know what I'm talking about? Power. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel power. And I wanted to encourage you tonight to let you know in spite of what you're going through. God has given you power. Power to be bold. Power to tell the enemy. You got to get out of my house. Power to tell the enemy. Got to leave your children alone. Power to tell the enemy. Got to leave your finances alone. Power to tell the enemy to leave your body alone. Power. Oh, power. Power to tell the enemy to leave your mind alone. I dare you right where you are to open up your mouth. To open up your mouth and shout power. 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 Oh, my God. I feel power. I feel the presence of the Lord 
moving in my home. I don't know about you, but every time I turn around, God keeps on making a way for me. God keeps on stirring things up for me because He's giving me power. The enemy shall not defeat me because He's giving me power. The enemy cannot defeat my marriage because He's giving me power. 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 I said power. Power. I love the Lord because He looked at me. Beyond all of my faults, he looked beyond all of my mess ups, beyond all of my slip ups, and he blessed me according to my need. He blessed me because I had power. I got power. You got power. Power to live, power to talk, power to think, power to believe, power to open your mouth. Power to shout where you are. Power. Power, power, power. Power, power. I get somebody to shout power. You got it. Don't you wait. Till the battle is over. Don't you wait. Till the storm is over. Don't you wait. Till COVID-19 is over. You can shout right where you are. You can shout right where you are because of COVID-19. Don't you be afraid. The Lord has given you power. Power to walk boldly. Power to walk strong. Power to walk in the authority. Power to walk under the Holy Ghost. I speak liberty tonight. I speak peace tonight. I speak joy tonight. You shall not lack, you shall not give up, you shall not give in, your children shall be covered. I plead the blood over your life, those that are tuned in, those that are going to rewatch it. I plead the blood over your life, that the enemy shall not come in, the enemy shall not seek in, the enemy shall not steal, the enemy shall not kill, the enemy shall not devour. Over your life, I speak to the deaf angel that may try to come to your house. I bind it in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and shout, I shall live and I shall not die. I shall live and I shall not die. My wife shall live, my children shall live, my mother shall live, my father shall live. Open your mouth, rally your home, whether you're sitting outside, whether you're riding in the car, and say, I shall live, I shall live, because God lives, I got a right to live, I got a right to live, I'm living my life, I'm living my best life, is there anybody here, is there anybody here, know you got power, power, Hey, hey, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad that he got up. I'm so glad that he got up. I'm so glad he didn't stay there, but he got up. I've been to the cemetery before, and I've seen a whole lot of dead folks. I've visited a lot of graves. I've been to a lot of funerals. I've been to a lot of wakes. And there's never been one time that anybody has ever rose again. But I'm so glad that Jesus, he looked beyond all of our faults, and he got up. He didn't stay there. I know some of us got loved ones. I know some of us got friends that we wish they didn't pass on. But somebody know. Somebody know. Somebody know. Like I know. 
Jesus, oh Jesus, he got the power, and because he got power, I'm going to live my life, because he got power, you ought to live your life too, open your mouth and give God praise, open your mouth and give God praise, praise, praise is what I do, Praise, huh? praise is who I am. Huh? My mother gotta praise him. Huh? I'm gonna praise him. Huh? My father gotta praise him. Huh? I'm gonna praise him. Huh? My wife gonna praise him. Huh? I'm gonna praise him. Huh? My children gotta praise him. Huh? I'm gonna praise him. Huh? As of me huh? in my household, huh? we will. Huh? We will. We will. We're going to serve the Lord. Because we got power. (laughs) Y'all don't want to have no church with me tonight. You got power to live life abundantly. Power, power, power. I want to encourage you tonight. That wherever you are. Whatever you may be doing. Surrender your life unto the Lord. In the midst of everything that's going on, trials and tribulations that have come, the enemy have come to kill you. The enemy have come to break apart the very thing that you worked so hard to put together. But I speak tonight over your life that you shall not lack or you should not be in the need or want for anything. Because this, this, this very, this very same power that God have granted me with, He's granted you with it too. And I want to encourage you to stay on the battlefield, saints. It's a little rocky right now. It's a little rough for a lot of folk right now. Wondering how they're gonna pay their bills, how they gonna make ends meet, what are they gonna do about their children, what are they gonna do about food, gas, car. Don't you give up. You've got power. Power to make it work in your favor. Power, power, power. God bless you and God keep you. I thank you for tuning in with me tonight. I'm trusting God and I am believing in Him to do something magnificent in your life. And it's going to work out for your good they have laughed at you they've talked about you but the power and that all that rests upon your life the anointing that's upon your life they're not able to get next to you walk and walk in victory and watch God turn it around for you watch God fix it for you I'm a living witness Though they slay me yet, yet will I trust in him. Because he's so good and because he's so kind and because he's so great. You ought to give him a praise. You owe God a praise. Listen, God has not only kept you out of some stuff that other folks put you in, but he's kept you out of stuff that you put your own self in. And because he's kept you, you owe him a praise. And you ought to give God glory. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer. Let us remember to keep our nurses and doctors and law enforcement officials and and firemen and firewomen and the police women. Let us keep them all in our prayers. The White House officials, our government, CDC. Let us keep them all in our prayers because let me tell you something. We need this thing to work out. We need a overnight turnaround for some of us. And we have the power. To do it we just got to come together in unity and watch God turn it around for our favor God bless you all even keep the the semi truck drivers the, the truck drivers who are who are up and down the dangerous highways carrying these long haul keep them in your prayer saints it is my prayer that God for a blessing keep you here's my prayer <laughs>